Tony, well, it's been one thing after another at an apartment complex in Cranston. A fire broke out today at the Dean Estates just hours after another building was deemed unlivable because of flash flooding. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us now with the very latest. Well, in the next hour, there will be a meeting for residents here at Dean Estates to go over what we really know about the flooding and now fire that happened within 24 hours of each other. I couldn't believe it. Cranston Fire Chief James Warren shocked after hearing a fire call at the same apartment complex he inspected this morning. Well, we came right here. We got everybody here in a strong presence just to make sure and put the fire up very quickly. Warren is currently inspecting the building to see if it's safe enough to live in. Hopefully we can get them back in. If they can't go in, then we'll work with the Red Cross who just arrived and we'll take it uh, to the next step. The Red Cross has already been assisting residents at the complex after Sunday's heavy rain flooded the basement level of a nearby building. The fire chief deemed it unlivable because of possible structural damage, leaving more than two dozen without a home. No one was hurt, but two dogs died and two other cats are missing. Now, a spokesperson for the apartment complex told me that the, there's a storm drain behind the building that couldn't handle those heavy rains on Sunday. And we're going to go ahead and show you as the pipes down on that side of the building are still pumping out water from inside that basement level of the apartment building. And residents told me it reached as high as six feet. And now the complex is working with the state and city officials to figure out why that storm drain wasn't working properly and the repairs that they'll have to make in order to make sure that building Building is safe to live in again. Reporting live in Cranston, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News. Thank you, Tony. Things have gotten worse for people at a Cranston apartment complex that was flooded yesterday. While crews were working to pump water out of one of those buildings at Dean Estates, a fire broke out in a different building. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez joins us now live from Cranston to tell us what's being done to help the people who live there. Alex? Well, this morning, Cranston firefighters deemed this building as unlivable, unlivable because of yesterday's flash flooding. And then crews were back here and after a few hours responding to a fire. Firefighters acting swiftly after receiving a call of smoke inside a building at Dean Estates, the same apartment complex they responded to less than 24 hours ago for flash flooding. It is very odd. Fire Chief James Warren couldn't believe they were called to the same complex again. Crews quickly put down the flames in the laundry room and inspectors are now assessing the damage. If it's not safe, they won't be going back in tonight. Just a few feet away at a separate building in the complex, hoses are still pumping out water left behind by Sunday's flash flooding. A spokesman with Dean Estate says a stormwater drain behind the building could not handle the torrential downpour causing several feet of water to pour into the building's basement level. Some residents say the water reached as high as six feet, destroying everything. With the structural status of the building in question, the fire chief deemed the building with 24 units unlivable. Residents stop by throughout the day to collect their belongings as they figure out what to do next. A meeting for residents will be held tonight at the police department. Just what we know, what uh, the city knows, and then the management team will be there to give them a response.